Good evening. The annual haunted house turned into a COVID safe drive through. And although it looks very different, the feels are the same because the scares are all here. And so is the dedication of all the students who helped put this on. Ah! Ah! Zombies, swamp monsters and skeletons. The drive through haunted house in Scotts Valley had everything the whole family could enjoy. What do you think? It was pretty scary. I think it was very cool. We really wanted to make sure that we could kind of save Halloween for some people that, you know, wouldn't be able to go to parties, wouldn't be able to trick or treat, and we could put something on for them. Greta Fag is the ringleader of this year's group of ghouls. More than 100 of them. Three, two, one. Ah! Putting on a show and working behind the scenes to create the ghastly display that at one point was in doubt due to the pandemic. It's really cool that it all came together. I like there's so many people that if you took that person out, it couldn't have worked. And there's so many people like that, that every individual is contributing an enormous amount. Yeah, this is a lot better than Zoom. I'll tell you that. Eric Weiner has been overseeing the student production since it started in 2003. And while this year's look is completely different, it's one of the most memorable because of his students' determination to overcome challenges. The big part of the effort was really the mental fortitude of like being told you can't do it and saying, what do we need to do to, in order to be able to do it? People had to do a ton of work, so I'm just like really grateful for this group of people. They're all super dedicated. And arguably the best part about all of this is every dollar spent goes to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. We have much more information, including tickets, on our website, ksbw.com. Reporting from Scotts Valley, I'm Christopher Salas, KSBW Action News 8.